guys, welcome back to a brand new ASOS haul, this time for winter. And I'm gonna mix it up slightly. I figured that instead of just kind of hauling everything that I saw that I really loved, I would instead have a look through for like winter essential pieces. So the things that I really feel make up my winter wardrobe. So you've got overly boots, you've got big woolly jumpers, you've got gorgeous thick coats, you've got different types of boots and shoes, and then some more kind of party outfits and pieces like that. So I went through with these kind of categories in mind, picked loads of different things in each category, so I can give you a bit more of an insight into what I would be wearing and different types of categories of products. So that's the way this is gonna go today. So there's a lot to get through here, I'm just gonna get right into this. But in fact, make sure you do stick around though to the end of the video to find out what today's seven days of Christmas giveaways, Christmas prize is going to be. If you don't know anything yet about my seven days of Christmas giveaways, have a look down below. I'll leave the information there. So there's loads of chances to win. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out what today's prize is. Right, I'm gonna get straight in, first of all, with coats, because I've kind of got them right here. So the first coat, it's pretty obvious, and you may have seen this already in another video, but it is the Aviator jacket. This is a completely faux shielding and faux leather style. It almost feels a bit suede -y. This is all faux, but it's a really gorgeous style of Aviator jacket. I've not taken off my Aviator jacket yet since I got it. It's just one of those really staple pieces. I pretty much throw it on every single time I go to the shops, if I'm going out for quick meetings, Things. It's literally that piece that I know will go with everything, so it doesn't require much thought before I throw it on. So that's why I just really, really love it. And with scarves tucked in, lovely high neck jumpers tucked in as well, it just looks really snug and cozy. Okay, totally in love with this outfit. I love it. So this jacket is such a good aviator, I think, for winter. There's so many different ones out there, different price points. This is one of the most affordable price points I found, where it's good enough quality. I think it's just got lots of lovely details on it. It's a little bit shorter than my other aviator jacket so it feels a little bit shorter and more of kind of a little mini jacket which is quite nice about it but it fits beautifully and it's just yeah super cool I really like it. Okay I've had my eye on this piece actually for a little while and it's sort of a bit of a take on a coat meets an aviator jacket and it is this one how gorgeous is this in a beautiful cream it's more of a creamy ivory sort of shade it is i think it's completely faux shielding completely it almost feels like a really thick wool it's really thick and inside the neckline is this super cozy creamy collar and it just opens out into a regular coat jacket. It's just a very thick, lovely winter coat and in the gorgeous cream, it's just a really stunning piece for winter. I love wearing cream and white in winter. So I thought this was just such a good idea for a different type of coat choice. This jacket I'm a little bit obsessed with. Oh my gosh, look! Super cute. It's so cozy and cuddly. I really, really like this. I think it's gorgeous in this colour. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is a couple of sizes too big. Yeah, so I got this in a small because there were no extra smalls and I really, really wanted to show you guys this. And I'm keeping my eyes out for the extra small. So it's a little bit big at the moment, but I do quite like it, that more oversized style. It's super snug. Yeah, I love this. It's gorgeous. And for the third type of coat, it's a style of coat that I wear a lot, really. And it is just a kind of long length jacket. It's with a double breasted effect, some quite pointed lapels just to keep it all quite structured and somewhat sophisticated and mature. And I felt that in this sort of gray shade, a lot of people would probably love this and get a lot of wear out of this actually. It's just very sort of sophisticated. You could just have it open over a party dress for Christmas. You could wear it with your work attire. It's just one of those kind of all round pieces that just works really, really well. Okay, so the jacket, actually really kind of nice length. I don't know if I'd put it with these boots. Yeah, that's so much better with the black boots instead. A little bit more me, I guess as well. I think it's really cool, I like it. Okay, coats out of the way. Just one accessory I did pick up was this beautiful scarf. It's a really pretty blue and peachy pink coral almost, uh, pastelized scarf. It's just really big and chunky, really super large knit. It feels lovely actually, it feels very kind of soft cashmere-y. But how pretty the colour is, I absolutely loved this. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, this is amazing. And it's so super affordable. We should probably get to the point where we can all say this together. <laughs> all links will be in the description bar. 
This scarf is a definite, definite keeper. I mean, the colours, it's so pastel, it's so cosy and soft. I just think I'll be able to wear this with so much. And I must admit, I do really like it with my hair because my hair's quite pastel silver. It looks quite cute. And for how affordable this was, I, yeah, I'm definitely keeping it. I love this to bits whole outfit I love it okay so obviously chunky knit sweaters you'll have seen this one that I'm wearing now I love this it's so festive I got this in my last video if you watch that my boyfriend does my ASOS haul video make sure you go and watch that if you haven't already because I really love that video and I'm sure I've shown you quite a lot of different styles recently as well but I wanted to pick up a couple more let's bring them a little bit off there this is a little bit more of a pricier option if you're open to kind of spend a little bit more on your knitwear. But it's a really gorgeous grey, very thick knit, quite chunky, just very easy style again. Nothing too huge and over-structured on the collar, so it's just very simple and easy to wear. And it's something that I would probably wear every single day. I feel like this knit jumper literally has my name on it. It's literally my style for the past like months, two months. This kind of knitwear, it just feels wonderful on. It's really cosy. It's a great style, exactly how I like it. Quite a big tall neck, a lovely kind of oversized sleeves, just something very cosy but still looks really quite stylish. You can wear with lots of different things to kind of style it up or style it down. So yeah, I really, really like this. I just need to work out if I need another one of these or not. It is a little bit more expensive, but let's see. And again, I believe this one was a little bit pricier, but I've been after this sort of thing now for a little while, and it is a sweater dress. It's the kind of thing I would just happily wear with some good over knee black boots. It's just a very simple style for Christmas, but it just looks so chic. I just really love the look of having a sweater dress or a lovely dress that cuts off, and then you just Got a little bit of skin poking out before your long over knee boots. I just really love that style overall. So I found this one on ASOS and I thought that the quality looked really lovely and it actually is a beautiful, very thin knit. It's got a zip detail to the very back and I think I'll probably fall in love with this. So this dress is a definite keeper. I absolutely love it. I've been looking for something just like this. Very simple, just simple knit with a round neck, lovely long like long enough sleeves that aren't too short and a good long enough length just to have that little bit of a slit in between your boots and your legs. That's like that kind of style. For me, I'm be honest, I was wearing black knickers with this. I had to change to nude knickers so they wouldn't show as much. So I'd be wary of that. I mean, it's, it feels lovely and thick, but obviously because it's cream, just gotta be careful. I really, really like this. I'm definitely, definitely keeping it. Okay, so for more kind of party styles or maybe kind of date nights or going out with the girls, I thought I'd look for some skirt options something a bit more metallic -y, a bit more Christmas winter inspired and floaty pleated skirts have made the biggest comeback recently and they are huge this season and I found this one on ASOS that I thought was a very affordable, this is a super affordable option and it's really lovely and metallic, it's quite shiny, it's one of those kind of attention grabbing kind of pieces but just with a basic little cami and some pretty heels it would just be really cutesy and Christmassy, metallic, pretty. Yeah I thought that was a really cool piece actually. Okay so silver metallic skirt, it's actually really lovely on, I like the way it almost flicks out at the end, so if that's intentional or not but I really like that, this gives it a little bit more shape as it kind of billows out at the bottom and it just fits really nicely it's just so comfortable if you're wearing this for a night out honestly you've got room for food you've got room for extra drinks anything else it just fits really nice it just feels lovely as well so actually a big thumbs up for the skirt and another skirt that quite intrigued me was this one again metallic I mean, look at the way that's sort of shining, but it has this floral sort of jacquard embroidery all over it that just gives it a little bit more edge, a bit more fun, a bit more playful, but also quite sophisticated. And again, you could wear this in so many different ways for events and Christmas occasions where I don't want to wear a long dress and I just want to wear a cute little camisole or something that's kind of embroidered and just throw on a really pretty skirt. Yeah, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. This skirt is gorgeous, a bit of an A-line shape, beautiful way that it catches the light with those metallic threads running through it it fits really beautifully just snug it doesn't fit oversized or too small honestly it feels so comfortable and again I just paired it with this black bodysuit just for kind of to show you what it would look like like this and yeah I absolutely love it I think this is a gorgeous piece perfect for kind of the Christmassy metallic trends but also a bit of floral and jacquard as well so it kind of hits a lot of boxes okay so moving into tops the kind of tops that I'm quite enjoying now for winter first one I wanted to mention though just because I've mentioned a few times like camis or things to wear with other kind of more statement pieces 
ASOS just do really simple basic bodies and I saw these and thought like I would get so much easy wear out of these. But they're just literally simple black bodies and I think they're like £10 for the two. And it's just something you can throw on under anything, especially under lacy tops that are very sheer and very see-through. I have quite a few of those. I always have to wear a white camisole underneath and body suits are the best because it means you'll never get the underneath riding up. And it just keeps it really sleek and really flattering underneath any tops you're wearing above. So this is kind of perfect for wearing under cream or white or nude tops and obviously this is perfect for under black lace. But I just saw a really good basic piece that you can wear under so many different things. Okay so I just put this with the jacket again just to kind of show it's a full outfit but it's kind of just that very laid back cool chic style. This is easy colours, grey, white, blue, black. You know, super easy. To sort of show it kind of with this coat again, just to show you a different perspective. And if you watched my boyfriend of May before, you may have seen one of the beautiful shirts Alex got me that I kept. And I haven't stopped wearing it in, honestly. You may have already seen it on Instagram. Anyway, I looked again at the Jack Wills collection and they had this shirt as well. So it comes in a white, and again, it's just quite kind of trendy cool shirt it's a really lovely fabric because the amount of time to buy shirts and they're that really kind of workman's shirt fabric very kind of thin and flat and super pressed cotton that just doesn't move the same way and I really like the more soft cotton that moves a bit like linen that kind of feel of shirt but I often find that ASOS don't do as many of those so I knew Jack Wills would probably do that and I was right this is really beautiful it'll hang nicely and it's the kind of thing you could just wear with a cute little jumper and the collar's poking out and it'll just look really sweet and then cute for the winter or just tuck it into a pair of jeans throw a big aviator jacket over it and it just looks I don't know it's really stylish really fashionable so that I actually love. Really, really like this shirt. It fits beautifully. I've just got my normal size on the arms and on the length of it as well, but you could quite easily just tuck this in to a really lovely length. Really, really love these tops right now. Okay, trouser options. As you know, I'm a bit of a jeans fan. Jeans or leather trousers, and I'm pretty sure I've picked these up before actually. And they're just a pair of coated black trousers, like jeans to give that more wet look, leather look effect. So if you don't want to go for leather, because obviously it's a lot more expensive, or you may not wear leather, then this is just such a good way of getting around that. Coated black denim jeans is super easy, and they always seem to fit really nice. And these look really high-waisted, really flattering, and I think they will be such a good hit. So these are the coated jeans. They fit really, really well. Again, I just got the normal 25, so my usual size. They fit really nicely. They don't feel too loose or anything. So they're not super shiny, leathery, and they're not sort of a matte jean denim. Just like kind of in between. So it just has a little bit more of a sheen for legs. It makes them look a little bit more trousers, meets leather trousers. So I really like these a lot. If you do want to go for something a little bit different though, a bit of a different colour, how beautiful is this shade I found? I hope you can see this. It's almost like an oxblood purple. A little bit violet almost, but it's definitely kind of an oxblood raspberry purple. And again, just a really lovely high-waisted style. They feel like really nice fabric and just to mix up your outfits a bit just with a cute white cable knit jumper or a white shirt tucked in it just mixes up the colours and just adds a little bit more colour for the Christmas you don't always have to wear black I suppose these jeans fit like a dream I always get the 25 at ASOS I'm usually like a size 6 and 25 always seem to fit really really well for me they fit everywhere really they've got a nice high waisted fit as well so it's good for tucking things in this colour is actually really lovely i hope it shows up on camera just how wine colored red purple they are they're a really lovely shade and yeah i really like them actually and finally just a really simple pair of blue dirt jeans i have completely got rid of mine now that I have well i haven't got rid of them they're all tucked away in my wardrobe but for this season i don't really wear many with rips or any kind of cuts in them just because I like to keep myself more warm and it's just a more sophisticated style I find if you've kind of got a very simple, very subtle kind of jean style. So these are just a very easy pair Again, high-waisted and just looks like really nice quality, to be honest. So the blue jeans, again, fit perfectly. They are quite a nice high, sort of mid to high-waisted fit. Yeah, they're just really lovely, deep blue, almost petrol blue jeans. Not more I can say, though. They just fit really, really nicely and they're perfect for what I would kind of want for the winter. 
And finally guys, we're into shoes. And okay, first up, obviously you need a good pair of over knee boots, I think. Well, especially if you wanna kind of mix up with the way I've been talking about with skirts, or you want to wear some over knee boots with sweater dresses, or any kind of dress, then it's a good go-to. And I wanted to kind of find a good pair on ASOS. And I found this pair that I thought were actually really, really nice. This pair here in almost a black suede fabric. I'm not sure if it is real suede or not. It might not be. It's a really nice shape a lovely sort of block heel so they're not too uncomfortable got a zip to get you in and this doesn't look all that big so they should hopefully stay up but i'll be able to show you that when i try them on so the boots i think these are really really great i think for the fact they're a little bit more affordable than the ones i've seen everywhere else they've got a good shape it's a very feminine flattering shape they fit nicely around the legs they've got a little bit of texture around here just to kind of i don't know just add a little bit of texture i guess and yeah, they feel really comfortable. I'd easily be able to walk a long time in these because they're not too high. I think they're a very good option for an over knee boot. I want to give you a bit of an insight into what I'd wear for party shoes this season. And nude heels just go with absolutely everything in your wardrobe. With jeans, with trousers, with skirts with sweater dresses you know everything it just gives that very sophisticated style and that's what i really love pointed toe as always a lovely killer heel and it just looks flattering and feminine and really really sexy in this shape so this is the kind of thing that i am going to be wearing for christmas the shoes are perfect they're so perfect they're that kind of very light nude shade they just fit comfortably they're not overly tall so i could wear these a lot lovely and shiny patent and yeah so i put in with this it's quite cute. But if you want to be a little bit more glitzy glam, then I would go for something like this. These are a metallic rose gold, super high, very, very sexy, very feminine. And again, this is something I would highly recommend wearing. Again, just with jeans, it even just makes it look a little bit more glitzy, a bit more glamorous, very stylish, super easy. So the shoes, I have worn them with this because I wanted to see how it would go like two metallics and I actually really like it. I think the colors just work really, really nicely. And these shoes, so on their own are really great. They've got a bit of a Jimmy Choo vibe, they're very high, they're lovely and pointy, they're my kind of shoe, like totally my kind of shoe and they're really affordable as well. So these are a perfect kind of Christmas party hit, definitely. And to conclude, I have three pairs of boots to show you because as you know I'm a little obsessed with boots. First ones I found, oh my gosh, these are insane. I saw them and I was like, Do you know what, I just have to try these on just to see if they are incredible. And look at that though, it's almost like a metallic rose gold meets pewter shade velvet boot I mean they're awesome they just look super cool I definitely want to try these with some jeans I mean these would look awesome over the oxblood jeans with that sort of rose gold toning to them they will look amazing but even just over black jeans blue jeans I mean we'll have to have a look at them on but I just thought they were so cool and so affordable as well for this style of boot so the boots I think they're so cool. I'm not sure how I feel about them with this outfit. And I do feel like I'd need like a size down. Like they feel really big. I'm not sure if that's because it's such a pointy toe or not. But I think maybe I'd size down half a size, maybe even a full size. And maybe just pair them with a pair of like black jeans. But I think they're actually super cool for this time of year. I really actually like them. I'm just not sure about them with this outfit. These boots I wanted to pick up and show you because they reminded me of two different pairs of boots I currently have from Kurt Geiger. These are obviously ASOS and also this heel reminded me a little bit of my Trasadi boots and the way it kind of gradates up. A little bit like my Dior boots as well actually. The gradiated heel I think is probably making the comeback again this season but this is super cool and like black and it goes down into an orange brown effect. Really lovely and it's just a gorgeous smooth black suede style. The boots are so cute, they're so comfortable, I love the heel, I think these are so well Wearable. so many people I think would absolutely love these and finally I saw these and really really love them and I think you guys might love them too how beautiful is this colour that is such a stunning colour I would wear these so much it's just got some really cool tying work around here it's almost like laced around the edges and down the side just for a little extra detail it's got a little bit of a westernised feel to it so it's very very me it's something I would wear a lot these boots are gorgeous they fit perfectly they are the perfect kind of style for me i love the rounded heel and the colors these are definite keepers i absolutely love them 
And that is everything guys. What did you think? What was your favourite pieces? I actually really, really enjoyed putting this together in terms of making like categories of products and kind of challenging myself to find things I really loved in each category. So skirts, boots, tops, etc. So I really hope you liked it in this way. Let me know if you preferred it like this or if you just prefer me just to kind of go all out, pick up anything I really want and, and see where I get to. So just let me know down in the comments. If you did like the video, please do give it a like. That just really, really helps me out, makes me super happy. If you're brand new here, I'll leave subscribe button on the screen now so please do stick around and subscribe for two videos a week it'd be great to have you and before we go i will pass you on to the seven days of christmas giveaway okay guys so it is the third day of my seven days of christmas giveaway giveaways each and every prize i'm giving away is actually incredible so there's no point in being like this is amazing it's amazing because i've kind of chosen so many different prizes and gifts from brands I absolutely love. So everything I'm kind of giving away are things I've tried and tested, I absolutely adore, and I think you guys will love too. And today is no exception. So this is a prize you could win if you enter my seven days of Christmas giveaway giveaway for today. Okay, first up is one of the Clinique Sonic System brushes. These are such godsends. If you just need a really great cleanse your skin, these are so brilliant. So I'm giving away one of these because I think this is just an awesome prize. I've also been so excited about giving these away. Here, I believe I have 32, 32 shades of the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream Lipsticks. These are insane, like some of them are more creamy, some of them are more matte. The shade range is incredible. And in here, you'll have pretty much every single type of shade. There are reds, there are pinks, there are nudes, there are blues. There's a black, I think, there's a green, there's some lilacs, literally, there's so many here. So 32 brand new lipsticks to win. And the final gift that makes up this third prize is a little gift set from Burberry, which as you know is one of my absolute favourite beauty brands. I pretty much adore everything they create in fashion and beauty. And I'm so excited about this. I have one of the beautiful Burberry Highland Berry scented candles to give away. This will just be exquisite. I don't know if you've ever been into a Burberry and smelt any of the candles or seen them, but they're just so special and so beautiful and it's kind of things that you probably won't even want to light, but it's just such an absolute treat. And as well as that, I'm giving away the new Burberry Christmas collection. So you've got the Burberry Kisses Gloss, you've got the gorgeous Gold Glow Fragrance Luminizing Powder that's almost a bit of a highlighting powder. I'm also giving away the Gold Touch Eye Lip and Cheek Illuminator in Gold Shimmer, which is just beautiful for applying anywhere, just for like a pop of highlighty gold beautifulness. And also a nail polish, and this one is in Parade Red, and I'll just quickly show you because it wouldn't ruin anything, but gorgeous, almost raspberry toned nail varnish, it's so pretty. I'm a bit reluctant to open anything else because I want to keep it super, super brand new for whoever wins this. But yeah, so, so exciting. So in this prize, if you win today's giveaway, you will win the Burberry gifts, the Clinique Sonic System Brush, and also 32 different Makeup Forever lipsticks that are inside this bag. So if you want to enter this giveaway, then make sure you look down below in the description bar for all of the information as to how to enter. It's super easy. It's pretty much just going over to my blog, going to a particular blog post and entering in lots of different ways and you could win. And with all that said, let's have a look at who won the second prize in the seven days of Christmas giveaway. Okay guys, so the winner of the LMS box set and the GHD styler and hairdryer set is a lady from the UK and her name is Sophie Campbell. So massive congratulations to Sophie and thank you so much to everyone who entered. I'm just so blown away by how many of you have entered and are kind of supporting the whole giveaways. It's just amazing, so thank you so much to everyone. And a huge congrats again to Sophie. I'll email you now to send you your prize. Okay, that is everything for today. I hope you're enjoying the seven days of Christmas giveaways videos at the moment. I'm making them super Christmassy and festive and I'm absolutely loving filming them. So I hope you're enjoying them. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. It'd be great to have you and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.